one of the biggest things about, you know, a BFA's workload is the amount of time that we put into it is that it's, it's time put in at Ailey and of course it's time put in with written work, but it's, you know, being in the studios for an hour and 20 minutes for multiple classes that, you know, we're just not doing that anymore. What they're doing um, is having online Zoom classes, 40 minutes each class. Um, they hold six or eight classes a day, Monday through Friday, and we're required to take one class a day. When we didn't have this going on, sure, it was a lot. It was a pretty heavy workload, but it was very much all physical. For the academic side, for dance classes, we also have assignments on Blackboard, and those are basically just, we have an assignment each week for each class that you're registered in. Having only 40 minute long classes, um, you're not able to fit everything into those classes. It feels like it's more rushed, I think, just because, you know, with technical difficulties or um, just not having, like, uh, in-person instruction so it might take a little longer to like transfer information. Even just a teacher being able to walk by you and kind of you know correct you on, on little things that you're doing in the moment those are things that you, you are missing out on being at home and, and trying to you know do your best and correct yourself. It's actually so much more pressure to not only pick up exactly what they're saying but then like do it without them guiding you through it. You know, it takes being getting yourself motivated to take these classes and it takes discipline to take these classes every day and to actually get up and do them and not um, just like sit and watch the recorded version of the class because you can totally do that. Some difficulties are I don't get to dance as much um, and you know just getting my body moving and working is kind of challenging because I'm not as motivated as I was in New York. Of course, I could do my hair and put on a leotard and tights, but again, it's a motivation thing. I mean, why would I do that when I'm just at home? It still isn't quite, you know, what we want it to be based on what we're used to. Um, but I think I have to start changing my mentality to be like, this isn't making up for anything. It's just a whole different world that we're in. Um, it's definitely not ideal, but I am really grateful that um, our online classes are happening and it still gives us a chance to keep our bodies moving and dance, um, even if it's not in an ideal situation or surface. <laughs> the Ailey Studios are like top notch. And so and my space right now is my bedroom. I don't have any bar. So what I do is I take a chair and I put it right next to the bed, and then I just try to like alternate grabbing the chair, but it's it's not great. I'm taking class in my kitchen, um, and my parents are in you know neighboring rooms, both on conference calls. So it's it's definitely a weird, a weird feeling. I guess I'm just grateful to my 13 year old self for begging my parents to buy me a ballet bar um, that I never use <laughs> until two weeks ago. I'm in Virginia. My family has a big screen and porch on the back of our house. When I rearranged the furniture, I tricked my brain into thinking about it as like, this is my studio for the next month or two. It's obviously not ideal to train in your house. We're so used to being in these huge studios, these great facilities. I definitely miss the community that we have. I miss seeing my friends every day. I miss um, the, the days that I would have had with my class, which would have been the last days that we would have all been in the same uh, room together. I know for a lot of us, that is our social and very much like our family life on campus. I wasn't aware of how much my surroundings and my peers really influenced my inspiration to go to class and like do well and like really put my work in. It's, it's, a, it's a weird time, it's, it's a reflective time. Um, to kind of look back at the moments that you did have with those people and, and really cherish them even more. Even though I have trepidations about going back, we've all been on breaks, we've all had injuries, we've all been able to bounce back from whatever we have done. I think 
myself and a lot of people share the sentiment of we're just so excited to go back. It's definitely when we get back to the studio, it's going to feel really good to finally be able to move fully again and have a bigger space to, you know, just be free and actually dance. I think this time has really shown me how even though in these unlikely circumstances, it's really been hard for a lot of artists, we can still find ways to connect with each other and dance together, even if it's a bit unconventional. So I think that has really shown me the power of the dance community and like the arts in general.